Good morning, everybody. Slitta here, Slitta Sports Fitness and Motivation Channel. Like, comment, subscribe, click the like button. Thumbs up, obviously, algorithm out there for this channel. Get it out there to the fitness world and sports world. And support my kitty cat, my newbie, a four month year old baby, dollar sign Slitta Sports. And this video right here is a fitness video. It's going to follow up a little bit about what I was talking about yesterday about. Uh, about being cocky and arrogant, and then to follow up with uh, Mark Big Bear Meyer. Mark, Bear Big Bear Meyer, shout out to you, my dude. Keep doing that uh, weight loss fitness journey. Everybody, uh, do me a favor. Mark, comment below. I will pin your channel to the top. Everybody who watches this, uh, please go subscribe and give him motivation. He's overweight, uh, obese, but he is definitely working hard. He's lost about 100 pounds. That's why I always say if you really put the effort in, you can do it. There's too many excuses out. Too many people make excuses. Anyway, that, that's the reason why I'm making this video right here. I want to follow up a little bit more on when I say why I'm cocky and arrogant. Look, I'm a humble individual. Okay, I know anything can be taken away from me just like that. I'm fully aware of that. Okay, nothing lasts forever. And, you know, I could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And next thing you know, my workout stop and I become out of shape again. I know that. So I don't take anything for granted. I'm appreciative of the second chance that I have. My cat is, you might see her in the video at some point. She's over here behind me. Maybe you'll see her on the floor. I don't know. But that's why I'm very humble and appreciative of where I'm at. But I'm still going to be cocky and arrogant. Why? I'm going to tell you why. You got to put forth the effort to get the body that you want. Okay. I put on these every day when I go to the gym. My knee braces, my back brace, my gloves, my belt. I put forth all the effort into this. And a lot of you haters do not. Okay? I, every day, my building powder. I got protein, more protein powder in there. My creatine, my pre-workout, my ghost pump. I take that every day. Not you. Not the haters. People who work out do, but not you. I work 40 hours a week. Okay, a lot of y'all, trust me, do not work 40 hours a week, if any. You wouldn't have all the time on the internet if you did. And I'm not talking about just you dumbasses in, in the communities I used to and get myself involved with. Because there's some good people out there. There's some hard workers out there and some you know, I still kind of you know, casually interact with. But also a lot of people off YouTube that I see, lazy asses, just complete lazy. You know? If you're working all day and you come home to the internet and live streams all day, that, that's not a life. That's not a conducive life, especially if it's negative and drama, but I digress. Um, I go to the gym six days a week. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six days a week. Not you. Only a select few of you do. I'm the one that pushes myself to the limit. When I'm working out, sweating, getting my earbuds, zoning out, pumping the weight, monitoring you know, the increase of the weight that I lift, getting a plan together every time I go. I know exactly what I'm going to do every day. Not a lot of you. That is why I deserve to be cocky, arrogant, but also got to be humble. But that is why I, I, I walk. There you go. There, there she is. See, that is why I walk around with my head up. Hey, messing with my helmets. Don't do that. That is why I walk with my head up. That is why I walk with my shoulders out. Okay? I intimidate a lot of people with what I've become. The people in the past that I know, a lot of them are intimidated by me. They don't talk to me anymore. Really? Why? It's because they thought I was going to stay down to their level. They're lazy. They're toxic. They're negative. They get the drama. That is why I deserve to be how I am because I'm putting forth the effort to make my body right. A lot of the women that I used to interact with every, you know, back then, every now and then I'll come across them again and I'll try to make an effort. But if I'm not getting a, a reciprocated reply, it's going to go back to where it was. I'm not afraid to hear the word no. That's why I decide, that's why I deserve to be cocky and arrogant. I know my self-worth. I know what I'm about. I got no issue cutting a guy off, a friend of mine, or women off that I'm interested in, or negative friends and toxic people. I have no issue. I will cut you off like a slice of bread. Stop playing with the helmets. Okay, that is why I deserve to be the way that I am. Because I'm putting forth the effort and I have no regrets. I'm living that life for me. Whatever time is left on this world, it is about me and what I want. 
Now, people always like used to said I was a nice guy. I was. I was a nice guy. That's why I got walked over. I'm not a nice guy. I'm an adaptive guy. You're nice. You you treat me right. I will treat you right. You don't. I won't. That's how that works. Stop playing with the helmets. Playing with the Pittsburgh Steeler helmet. Ironically, yeah, beat it up. Beat up that Steeler helmet. But you see, I just wanted to clarify. That is why I deserve to be cocky and arrogant. Now, if you're cocky and arrogant and you have no respect for other people, and you don't put forth the effort to, to get what you want, and you feel entitled, that's not the cocky and arrogant you need to be. I will help people when it's when I deem necessary that it, it to be done. I'm a giving individual. I will open my heart to certain people that deserve to have that you know happen to them. But just to be cocky and arrogant, to be a prick or a dick or a bitch, that's the wrong way to go. It takes a lot to get your body into shape. It takes a lot to get your body to the point to where you're happy with yourself. And I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not content. I still there's still stuff I want to work on constantly. I'm trying to build the best body that I could can that I want for myself. I know what kind of body I want. Six foot four, two hundred pounds now. Lean muscle. Muscles coming out. I'm working a little bit more on my abs again. Not. I don't want it to be like a six pack, but I want to you know, continue to match my upper body and my legs. I'm feeling stronger. Everything. I love the attention that I get from the women. And I'm talking, again, seven, eight, nines, tens, not one, two, three, four, fives. I have standards. I know what I want. I want a woman who's in shape. I want a woman who knows what she wants. I want a woman that wants to get together and have fun. I don't want anything serious right now. I just want to have fun. You're into shape like I am. You work out. Let's go have some fun. Let's work out. Let's link up. Everything. Let's do it. Same as my friends. I want my friends who are motivated to the gym. Let's hang out. Come on over. I don't want losers dragging me down. I don't want toxic women, drama-filled women, holding me back. I don't want women with two, three, four, and five kids. No, I don't want a woman with one leg. I have, I know what I want. Women hit on me every day. There's some attractive ones, but if I see something about them I don't like, I'm not going to get with them. If I see, you can be the finest chick in the world, but if you don't have a direction in life, we ain't linking up. If I feel like you got something to offer me, I have no issue with that. But that's why I'm cocky and arrogant because I have worked. I was down on myself for so many years, a simp for so many years because I lacked the confidence, you know, to to improve my life. I lacked the confidence to get out of debt. To every day, I didn't care. I love the life that I'm living now, and everything I show in my videos proves it. That is why I deserve to be cocky and arrogant. Not because I'm trying to be a dick or I think I'm better. Because I know there are people that are better than me. But some of you dumbasses here on YouTube just ignore everything I say and just talk to shit because you hate. Because you're lazy and out of shape and you don't want to put forth the effort. And let's be real here. People with all the problems don't want to be told that they have all the problems because it's a reality check. They would rather just shit on somebody else and make excuses for their terrible, pathetic lives. That's why most people don't come to my fitness content. The videos I upload, I don't really see, only I see a few people on my videos, the ones who who are motivated to work out and compliment what I'm doing. It's very few and far between. Very few likes. Very few views. You want to know why? Because most of y'all, it's unfortunate, but most of my content is out there to the people I used to interact with. I'm, I'm having trouble trying to get my fitness content out to the fitness world. But it is what it is. I'm going to keep promoting it. I know when I do my sports stuff, y'all are here. And if something negative came up, y'all would be here. But I don't do that. I try not to do that. But when it comes to something positive like this, y'all ain't nowhere to be found. Why? Because y'all are fat, ugly, alcoholics, druggies, out of shape, bitter people. And you don't want to see somebody succeed. When all if you when deep down I know you want to succeed. And if you know all you gotta do is ask me and I'll help you. But y'all got too much pride. So that way your life is going to continue to be where it is. And you're going to continue to hate on me. But I'm going to continue to be cocky, arrogant, and live my life for me. And bring the people into my life that live the way that I do and that deserve to be in my life. Capiche? I'm glad you got that. Now i got to pick up these little mini helmets that my little shit knocked on the floor. But that's how I live it. So like, comment, subscribe. Any comments below, please let me know your opinions. Mark Big Bear Meyer, comment please, and I will pin it to the top, and you guys go support him. He's working hard on his fitness journey. I got a lot of respect for that. Sports live in the ATL Slit of Sports Fitness Motivation. I'll see you on Sunday for the Steelers at the Falcons. Two more days, folks. Let's get it, and I'll see you in the next one.